You're listening to the Manic Pixie Weirdo. I'm Abigail, your host. So this week we're going to talk about tattoos. Um, I don't know. My relationship with tattoos, I have several. Um, my sister has a couple. My middle sister. Um, my husband has one. Uh, but I just thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about tattoos and kind of my relationship with them and how I view them uh, and how I kind of got to the place in my life where I uh, – it became something more for me instead of like an act of rebellion. So I grew up pretty – I don't know, not like isolated or sheltered, but just kind of like with this idea that like tattoos were kind of grungy and they were very um, like taboo, very taboo. And I never really like it was always kind of what I remember one of my earliest memories was I was watching like the Oscars with my mom one year I don't even remember which Oscars it was and um it was like the beginning of the red carpet kind of you know where like all the all the actors and actresses are you know showing off whatever they're wearing and blah 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 and uh I remembered that I think it was Sandra Bullock I think doesn't really matter but uh I I made a comment about like uh why was her hair down versus because I guess it seemed like to me at the time that like everybody had their hair up like all the all the women had had their hair up in you know like you know really pretty hairstyle and her hair was down for some reason and I guess it just kind of threw me off like oh why is her hair you know down why did she choose that it, it kind of looked like the the trendy thing I guess because I don't know anything about fashion was to have your hair up and my mom was like well she has tattoos and I was like oh like she has to cover them oh okay um, so that was kind of like my, and I, I just, I do kind of remember having that be like, like, a, oh, oh yeah, you, you need to, you, you definitely would not want to like show them and like, you know, have it like that. That's not really the time or the place to have tattoos. So I guess, yeah, you would have to cover them. Like it just kind of made sense to me as a kid, you know, like, oh, okay. A bit of a taboo. Um, same with like piercings were kind of a taboo. Um, and then of course, as I got older, uh, it definitely became like a rebellious thing, like an act of rebellion against my parents and just kind of this very, you know, like, well, I'm going to get a tattoo and that'll show you, you know, like I'm different. I'm, you know, it, it, it really didn't have a lot of meaning. It was more just like. And that'll show you that I'm an individual and I am my own person and you have no control over me anymore and blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> it, I think that, that, that a lot of people have that feeling, um, whether they, you know, decide to rebel by getting a tattoo or, <clears throat> you know, um, I don't know, getting a piercing uh, in a place other than your ears, um, or like smoking cigarettes or something, you know, it's that act of rebellion and defiance that you want to have against your parents. Um, but then I do have like kind of earlier and by earlier, I mean like more recent memories when I was like, I don't know, maybe like 15 or 16, something like that. Uh, of, uh, of like my mom just kind of offhand like mentioning 
um, again, we were talking about some kind of, it was like during, it was either during the summer or like we were going into summer um, or something like that. And we were talking about like, again, kind of like a weird sort of like fashion thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think we were talking about like, like toe rings or like anklets or something. It was something, you know, really random and weird like that. And I do have a memory of my mom being like, uh, well, you know, it would be cute if you got like, like if you wore an anklet, like it would be really cute, you know, especially if you had like a little sun tattoo or something like on your ankle, um, you know, something like that. And it, it was something along those lines. I don't think that that's exactly what she said, but it was something, you know, to that effect. And I do kind of remember there being sort of this feeling of like, oh, yeah, you know, like that would be really cute if you had like a little sun tattoo or something. Um, and I don't even remember being, you know, like, oh, she obviously meant like a temporary tattoo or something. Uh, I definitely took it as like a permanent tattoo that you would go to a tattoo parlor and get. So, but it also, the the way that she said it and sort of, like, the context that it was put into uh, was very much, like, like, yeah, like, it would be cute. So, it kind of gave me this, this thing, this, like, I guess planted a seed of the idea of, like, well, you could get a tattoo, you know, as long as it's, like, cute, you know, or whatever. Uh, or even or if it's like small or something I don't know what it was but it, it definitely gave me like a more positive spin on it. it kind of gave me the feeling that like well my well my mom's not like saying you know like it's bad to have a tattoo you know she I, I don't think she would have said that if um you know she had this like horrible idea you know like you know it it just didn't come off as like you know you're going to hell or something insane like that if you know you get a tattoo or something um it just it kind of put a positive spin on it and I think that it did kind of give me the seed of like well maybe my parents aren't you know as like strict with that idea as I thought they were Uh, because you know your idea of things especially as you get older um at least in my experience with my own parents was that you know as I got older uh things that I thought my parents were really really super like strict on and stuff like that uh that turned out to be like not the case it was just like my perception as a kid like as a little kid uh was funneled through those like you know kid glasses or whatever but uh I don't know uh so I guess that did kind of that one little conversation kind of did give me this idea of you know well, maybe they're not, like, that bad. You know, like, maybe it's, maybe my parents wouldn't totally reject me, you know, if I, like, decided that that was something I wanted to do. Um, but then it wasn't until I was 18 that I got my, I got my very, very first tattoo when I was 18. And I went with my best friend at the time, and we had been... We had been really good friends essentially since I like to say like since, you know, before we were zero Uh, because we we literally grew up together. Like we went to daycare together and we just known each other. We kind of come in and out of each other's lives uh, throughout those like 18 years. Um, And we ended up graduating from the same high school. And so we together went and got tattoos so when the daycare that we went to uh was 
what they did, one of the things that they did was they gave you a symbol. So, like, when you were little, you would know, like, okay, every person has their symbol. And we got to, uh, we did get to pick our own symbols. Um, and so, like, the, the purpose of it was to be, like, so when you saw your symbol, you would know, oh, that's my cup, or that's where I sit, or, uh, you know, that's my lunchbox or something you know like that's that's my stuff that's where I go that's you know that sort of thing it was it was sort of an associative thing for uh you know really and I'm talking little kids like one two three like little 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 and uh and and yeah we all got to pick our own symbols um and my symbol was a diamond and her symbol was a clock. So I guess sort of how I take it um, is that, you know, when uh, when we were 18, we went and got our symbols tattooed on our wrists together. And mine was a diamond. And so instead of just getting the outline of a diamond, I got... Uh, my two favorite colors filled in to that diamond. Um, so blue and then it like fades into um, black, which isn't really a color technically according to science, but you know, whatever. And so, and she got a clock and she, of course, made me go first, which was fine. Um, and it was pretty painful. Um I mean, I didn't, like, cry or anything. It was just very much, like, ah, ow, 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 ah. Like, it, yeah, it hurt. And I think the shading hurt the most. Um, now, I definitely did not pay very close attention to, like, how I was supposed to take care of it and definitely did not take very good care of it. It, it like, scabbed, and so it definitely, it really looks kind of cool now. Like, I kind of have gotten used to the way that it looks. Um, But you can tell, like, where, um, you know, like, where this it scabbed and where I, like, picked at it. And so it's not really, like, fully shaded. You know, it's not really fully shaded in, but it looks kind of, I think it looks kind of cool. I've had a lot of people say um, it looks like I have a window, uh, like, out into the ocean at nighttime, the way that the shading and the way that it all kind of, like, came together. And I think that's kind of a cool idea. I can definitely see how people would say that, yeah, it looks like that. Uh, that's not what it is intended to look like, uh, but it does have like personal meaning to me. Um, and so that was really like my first, it was my first tattoo, obviously. I had just turned 18 and I went with my friend and after like all of that, I really kind of decided, oh, you know, like I do like this. I do enjoy this. This is not necessarily like the pain, but I do like the fact that like I have this thing on my body as like a permanent reminder um, of something that happened. Kind of like marking, it's kind of how I view it now is very much like it's a souvenir. Um, It's pretty symbolic. I'm super like metaphorical and like it's very cliche and very like I attach all this like philosophical meaning to it and kind of just like you know that's just what it is for me that's not necessarily how it is for everybody um but I tend to overthink things in general so I of course you know associated this this thing that I got permanently on my body with um a bunch of like philosophical metaphorical meaning to it um and it's it definitely serves as like a reminder and like a souvenir of like a time in my like that time in my life um 
Now, all of my tattoos are from different states in the United States, um, except for two. And I'll kind of explain that in a minute, in a little bit. But um, I have a total of five. I have a total of five tattoos now. And so, okay, so I got that one when I was 18 and I got it in Texas. Um, then I moved to Chicago and I lived there. It, I consider Chicago to be my home. Um, you know, I grew up, I was born and raised in Texas, but so I grew up in Texas, but I say that, you know, I grew up in Chicago. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody else other than me, but I, I, I consider Chicago to be my home. Um, Chicago is where I'm from. That's what I say. I love Chicago. Um, it is my home. Um, and it is a place that I, you know, it's the place that I finally like grew up, had to, you know, grow up. Not all the way because, uh, I'm definitely still trying to figure out how all that works, you know, but, um, I was forced to do a lot more growing up um, in Chicago, and I love it. It's my favorite. I love it. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, my next tattoo is from Illinois in Chicago. Um, Illinois in Chicago. That's not right. It's Chicago in Illinois, the state of Illinois, where the city of Chicago is. Sorry. It's just not... <sighs> okay, so this next tattoo that I got, um, so I'm actually a really, really big fan of Demi Lovato. Um, I didn't, I wasn't ever like a huge fan. I'm a pretty recent, recently a big fan of hers. Um, I got kind of... I was dating this girl, um, when I was in Chicago and she was like the biggest fan of Demi Lovato and she kind of like introduced me into, um, you know, what Demi was about and like, you know, all the different struggles and all the different things kind of, um, and I didn't, I kind of just like sort of fell into like, okay, well, like you like this, so I'm going to learn to like it. So maybe we can like it together kind of a thing. Um, <coughs> sorry. And it turned out that I like fell in love with the Demi Lovato. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like I didn't know any of this stuff about her. Um and now I do and now I like I love her I think she's really great and um I like her music I've seen her twice in concert it was amazing I loved it it was so much I met her I have a picture of me and her meeting um or of me meeting her uh and so the next tattoo that I got she has stay strong on her wrists and a cross on her, I believe it's the outside of her hand on, I believe it's her left hand. I'm not 100% sure though. And um, so she has the word stay on one wrist and strong on the other. And so I decided to just put it all together. And so I got a cross on the... Um, on the inside of my left hand, not on the hand, but on the, on my wrist. And I got stay strong with a heart, um, in like a really pretty, like calligraphy script on my wrist, on my wrist, wrist, on my wrist, on my left wrist. And 
that one didn't hurt as bad um, as my other one. I think I kind of went into it thinking like, like kind of like trying to prepare myself for, you know, like, oh my gosh, you know, um, I can, you know, uh, it, it hurt so bad last time. It really didn't hurt that bad this time. I think I was just like kind of hyping myself up. And then when I got there and I got it done, I was kind of like, oh, like they were like, oh, it's, it, you're done. And I was like, oh, that's it. Um, I do remember though when um when i was like cuz what they do is like when you go in and you tell them what you want um most of the time they will draw it on a piece of paper first and then they'll show like they'll place it on you and that way like you know within just like ink it's like purple ink or whatever and uh, so you can decide like, yeah, that's right. That's the placement that I want or no, you know, now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look the way that, you know, I had, I thought it would in my head. So, um, kind of scrap the segment and start over that kind of, so you, you, you know, you get the idea of like, uh, it's kind of a trial and error situation. And I do remember when they put, when the guy put the cross on, on my wrist he was like, you know, if you do it this way, then when you put your hand down, it's going to look like an upside down cross to everybody else. And I remember kind of sitting there going, yeah, but I kind of don't care. And then I kind of had to like, I did this like quick little like assessment in my own head of like, why does that matter? I don't really care what other people think. Like what? That's not, it's not and eventually I came to the conclusion that like I understand like why that would be an issue like I understand why a lot of people like if somebody saw that they would be like oh my gosh that's the devil which I have absolutely no problem with um yeah I mean do whatever you want do whatever you want I don't care um and that was kind of my whole point was I looked at it and I was like yeah and and he was like well no, no no I'm not I'm just telling you that like you know, it, it and I'm not trying to make him sound bad at all. I, if anything, I was kind of being an asshole because I was just like, I don't understand like what the problem is. And he was like, no, 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 no. I'm just trying to tell you that like, this is how it's going to look to other people. I can do it this way and it'll be like, if that's what you want, you know, I'll do whatever you want. But, um, I just wanted, you know, I just wanted to, to show you and let you know before you got it permanently on your body. Um, like maybe this is something that I hadn't that you hadn't thought about, you know, and just kind of like letting you know. And I and, and to, to his credit, I had not thought about that at all. I was like, I don't know. I oh yeah, I didn't even realize that. But I came to the decision that I don't really care because it's not for other people. It's a tattoo. It's for, it's on my body. It's for me. It's not for anybody else. I don't want this. I'm not getting this tattoo because I want you know, somebody else to be like, oh, look at that tattoo. Like, that's, you know, oh, you must, you know, like, worship the devil. Or like, it's not for anybody. Like, say whatever you want. I don't really care. But at the end of the day, the tattoo is not for you. The tattoo is a reminder to me to stay strong and, you know, to kind of give me, like, a little – you know, a little bit of, like, inspiration – you know, for, you know, if I'm ever feeling like, you know, really bad or really depressed because I have depression and that happens, you know, like I, there are times when I'm just like, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. And it's just, you know, it's just, it's a friendly reminder to myself. It's like, I got a post-it note and put it on my body and it, just to remind myself, like a permanent post-it note, got it to my body. and was just like, fuck everybody else like I need this this is what I need I don't really care if you think you know we think whatever you want to think but this is for me it's not for anybody else this is for me you know to myself and I really did need that kind of reminder at that time in my life you know like just to stay strong and keep going and um you know you can do this It'll be okay. Um, it'll be shit right now, but 
it eventually it will be okay. Um, and I did, I went with a friend, um, and she got something too. I don't remember what she got, um, but we went together. Um, and then, so that was that one that I got in Illinois, in the city of Chicago. (laughs) Um, so then I have another one, um, and it's also on my left arm. It's on like the forearm. And I'm not entirely happy with it right now. Um, like after I got it done, I was like, oh, yeah, it's not exactly what I had in mind. But, you know, whatever, I'll live with it. Um, And that's kind of how I'm feeling right now about the Stay Strong. I love it. I want to keep it. There's just a couple things that I want to like add to it. Um. You know, for myself, um, also I want to take away like the longer piece of the cross, um, and make it a peaceful cross. Um, not really to, you know, cause I'm not, I'm not a religious person. I'm just not, I'm not, I don't consider myself to be like a Christian or, um, you know, anything like that. I don't or like, or Jewish, or Muslim, or anything, like, I just, I'm not a religious person, really, um, so, I found out that, like, and I should have known this, but I was not, I wasn't really in a place where I was thinking about that while I was getting this tattoo, I was more thinking, like, oh, you know, I want that tattoo because Demi Lovato has a, um, not, I did try to put like my own spin on it, but whatever. So I feel like I'm digging myself into a hole, but (laughs) whatever. So eventually I'm going to get, um, the cross, uh, shortened. So it's a peaceful cross and not, um, you know, a symbol of torture, (laughs) which is what I have now, which is not, I don't condone any of that. And so I, once I realized that I was like, Oh yeah, I should probably, um, we'd fix that. Should probably change that. Um, so anyway, so, okay. So the next tattoo that I have, um, again, it's very Demi Lovato inspired. Um, but she has faith on her forearm uh, with birds going to the cross on her left hand. Um, you can see pictures of it. Just Google it. Um, <clears throat> but as I said, I'm not religious. I'm not a very religious person. I don't I don't subscribe to one ideology. Um, I just don't. Um, I don't have a problem with you if you do. I really, I don't. I mean, it, it totally up to you. I, you're, it's all cool to me. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, none of that, it doesn't bother me. I just personally am not someone who is super religious. So instead of getting like faith, I got, um, sometimes you've got to fall before you fly, have faith. And then I have birds on my forearm, on my left. Um, but it's not in the same spot. It's in like on the inside of my arm. So really the only thing that you can see is uh, like when I put my arm up or down. The only thing you can really see are like the birds or the outline or the birds and the outline that the tattoo artist gave me. And I, it kind of looks like the, the font is like in the clouds or something. And I go in between like really loving it and like sometimes being like "Eh, yeah I'm not really super into that um so at some point I may change that like I may get that like amended or something I don't know like get it get that part removed because I like the tattoo I like the whole tattoo but um it's just outlined and I didn't ask for that when I got the tattoo um the artist just kind of like decided to do that on her own which is fine I was totally okay with that you know at the time but now that you know now I'm just kind of like "Eh." you know now that I'm you know I've had it for a couple years I'm kind of like "Eh, yeah I don't really 
know how I feel about it. I love the wordings and like the the the. I love the wording and like the font and the drawing, um, like the drawings of the birds. It was is really beautifully done. I really do enjoy it, um, and it's a good it's a good reminder for me to have. Uh, but I'm just not really a super big fan of like it looking like sometimes I'm like oh yeah that looks super cool like it looks like it's floating in the clouds or like it was written in clouds or something uh, but then other times I look at it you know like I said and I'm kind of like eh, it's not great it's not really what I wanted um, so I don't know I may do something but this tattoo <laughs> um, so me and a friend of mine decided to get a crazy idea and drive from Chicago to Sacramento, California. I know, insane. It was literally like spur of the moment, kind of like, oh, you want to? Like, let's fucking go. And so we did. Like, that's what we did. We went, we just, we got in the car and we just drove to Sacramento, California. So that's where I got this tattoo. Again, not planned. It was not planned. It was not something that like, I was like, I'm going to drive all the way to California and get a fucking tattoo. No, it, we were in California hanging out, doing shit. And it was, it, it was like, oh, let's fucking go get it. The girl that I was dating at the time lived in California and she was like, oh, I'm going to go get this fucking awesome tattoo and it'll be super cool. And then like we all decided that we were going to get tattoos or something like it was. Yeah, <laughs> we probably were not looking back like not the most sane or stable. Definitely not, you know, Um, highly impulsive, incredibly impulsive. Um, but you know, we did it and it's a thing that happened that we did. Um, so whatever we did it and I ended up getting, yeah. So I got that tattoo in, I believe it was Sacramento where I got it, um, in some lady's kitchen. It was really like she, she like did them out of her house. Like it was really professional the way she did it. Like she had the whole setup, like the chair, she had the whole setup. Everything was like super sterile. She was like very, very clean. It was like an immaculate kitchen that she like had it to do. Um, and she used like, like vegan, like all vegan ink, um, cruelty free, like the whole thing. And I was like, I was like really impressed. I was like, oh my gosh, this is this is amazing. Like she, I mean, she had like her, her stuff like up on like her, not degrees, but like her professional credentials, you know, like framed and like, like it looked, it, it was amazing. Like she did, and she did a really good job. Um, but, uh, I was really impressed. It was really great. Um, and I fell asleep during that one. <laughs> I just I passed out I was like because eh. it does it hurts a little bit like at first like the, it's that first initial like you know zzz, you hear the gun and you're just like and, and, and it's like moving and you're like oh and then it and it like the first couple of seconds hurts and you're just kind of like oh uh, but then after that you're just kind of like oh okay whatever yeah and I ended up just like passing out and going to sleep um, so that was fun. And then the next tattoo that I have, um, is on the back of my neck and I got it in Boulder, Colorado again with a friend. Um, and I am a huge fucking nerd, a super nerd. You know, I talked about this on the book episode, you know, I'm a huge fucking nerd, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Chronicles of Narnia, all of the things, just all the stuffs, <clears throat> Marvel, DC, comic books, all the stuffs. Um, and so I got a Harry Potter tattoo on the back of my neck and it just says always in like cursive font, but the A is the Deathly Hallows symbol. Um, and so for those of you that do not know what the Deathly Hallows symbol is, it is a triangle. It looks kind of like an eye. And it is a triangle with a circle 
in the middle of the triangle and then a line like splitting the triangle in half the triangle and the circle in half um <clears throat> and that's that's the deathly hallows symbol and it is the cloak of invisibility and so like the triangle represents the invisibility cloak the circle represents the resurrection stone and the line represents the um the elder wand and so i made that the a in the word always um and i put it on the back of my neck <clears throat> and it was really quick spur of the moment again another impulsive move on my part but i wanted it i'd always wanted a harry potter tattoo something something that i can just keep i could just keep that with me um and so i got always um and on the back of my neck um and i i remember falling asleep while they were doing it and then like the guy who was doing the tattoo like had to like like nudge me like push me and be like hey wake up like we're done and it and it it feels like it just went so quickly like it was just one of those things where it was like i feel like i lay down for 5 seconds and then came back up and it was like oh you're done like <laughs> it was that like it feels that quick uh so yeah um and so the, uh, so we have texas illinois uh, California, Colorado. And then the last tattoo that I have, um, is the other one from Texas. And so two of my, two of the five are from the same state. Now I do not think that I will, I think I'm going to keep it like that. Um, because one, like the, uh, the tri or the, the triangle, what am I saying? The diamond on my wrist kind of represents, you know, like when I came of age and I went with my best friend at the time and, um, it was really kind of like a, I, I just turned 18 and active, first act of rebellion, kind of, you know, that kind of thing. Um, there's more that I'll go into, sort of about that time but it, it it kind of goes there's a lot that goes into that um you know I was I was high I was on drugs <laughs> at the um when I um at that time um and I really I was 18 you know young didn't really know what I was doing um so this other tattoo that I got it's kind of your cliche uh butterfly tattoo it's on my shoulder on my right shoulder and butterflies can represent metamorphosis or like um like rebirth kind of like a phoenix um but I also um first of all I didn't I didn't it, this was a very 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 spur of the moment I had no plans to get a butterfly tattoo like at all um ever the only reason that I got it actually a couple of reasons one my husband now uh he'd drawn it and it's perfectly symmetrical um I like that idea I originally wanted to get it on my ribs so one half would be on my like the front part of my rib underneath my boob and the other one would be on my back and then the body would be kind of split down my side um that's where I wanted it uh but that didn't happen um now he we were at some like tattoo convention or conference or something like they were having something at like one of the hotels uh in the town that he lived in and he wanted to get one 
but I knew he would not get one if I didn't get one with him. Now, not a great reason to get a tattoo, I am aware. Um, I have learned and grown to love my tattoo, even though it's not in the spot that I want it in. Whatever. The good thing about that is I can always get that changed. It's not really that big of a deal. But <laughs> I knew he wouldn't get one if I didn't get one with him. And he wanted the ohm. So the ohm is, it's a mantra. Hold on. I do not want. Okay. Okay, again, this is as of Wikipedia, so it's not, this isn't really great. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll just go with it, and then if I have to amend that later, I will. Whatever. Okay, so the Om is, um, it's a spiritual symbol in Indian religions. Um, that sig uh, signifies the essence of the ultimate reality, consciousness, or Atman? Atman? I don't know. I don't know if that's right. Um, more broadly, uh, it is a symbol that is chanted either independently or before a spiritual re uh, recitation in Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. Jainism? 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 I don't know. Uh, the meaning and connotations of Om vary between the diverse schools within and across the various traditions. Yeah, okay, so it's not just that. It like There's a whole bunch of other stuff that goes into it that I'm not really going to get into right now, but whatever. Um, so that's kind of the basic Wikipedia version of what it is. Um, <clears throat> so he's got the Om. Um, that's the tattoo that he wanted. And so we were, again, well, he also doesn't like needles. My husband does not like needles. And so I was like, well, if he, if I don't get one, he's just, he's a hundred percent not going to get one. So we decided to get the, I, he had drawn the, uh, the butterfly and I, I, d I don't draw. I definitely don't do that. Um, but I he had drawn the butterfly, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll get that. So long story short, we go into this convention thing, and like, <clears throat> we're looking for an artist or whatever. And we go in, and there's this doctor guy. I don't know. He was. I remember he was like in scrubs, like it looked like you know, like like scrubs, like a doctor is in scrubs. And <laughs> Justin F or. My husband found him and and he explained to this guy who apparently was the owner of one of the tattoo shops in the town that we lived in or that he lived in that I was visiting and He explained, he said he, he told the guy, like, you know, th this is what I want. This is what, you know, she wants, like, blah, blah, blah. Can you do it? And the guy said, like, yeah, we can do the whole thing for, I think he quote, because it was like a convention or whatever, it was like discounted. Like everything was like a disc, like that was kind of the point was you could get this tattoo done at like a, you could get your tattoos done at like a discounted rate. You know, that was kind of the whole point. And... <laughs> I don't remember. I think it was it was like $50 or $75 or something for both of us, which is a really good deal, um, especially for the size that we wanted. They're not huge. It's not like, you know, we got the whole, like, our whole backs done or anything, or I got my entire ribs done or anything like that. Um, yeah, but they're a decent size. They're probably like the size of a hand, you know. It's a decent size. Um the good thing is, though, that we're not, we, he and I are not big color fans. We don't like, um, we're not, 
we just don't i have the one little tattoo on my wrist that has color in it and it's the blue but everything else i have is black and white and that's what i prefer i pr- i don't i'm not a huge fan of color um i probably will eventually get something with a little bit more color in it but for the most part everything that i want is just black and white um and so they he quoted us like this whole thing like you know 50 75 dollars for both of them you know or whatever and he was like okay so if you meet me at my tattoo shop at whatever time um you know we can you know we, we can get it done and you know we can get it done today and it'll be you know great whatever and we were like okay cool 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 so we I think it was like seven or eight o'clock at night you know that's what the guy that that's what the guy said and he's the owner of the shop and so he goes and we get there and he said that he had to I don't even really remember like I don't know because I wasn't there I wasn't I didn't talk to anybody um my husband did my husband was the one that talked to everybody and so when we got there at the tattoo place the guy like had no idea what we were talking about he was like well I'm gonna have to call my boss you know or whatever and and then he we told him you know like what what we wanted what the deal was and he was like well I'm gonna have to call my boss and he called his boss the owner of the place the place that my husband you know the the guy that my husband talked to and the guy was just like well he's not answering his phone but I definitely can't do both of them for 50 bucks or whatever and I definitely cannot do a rib tattoo for 50 bucks like there's no way and at that point I just was I was annoyed and I was frustrated and my husband was annoyed and frustrated and I was like well can you can you just put it on my shoulder then like can we just get it done? like just just fucking do it like just get it over with just do it and then I was like oh yeah we can just put it on your shoulder and that'll be that'll be it that'll be you know 50 bucks whatever the whole thing and but he was like can we finish eating first or something it was just not like it was just not a great experience but we got them um I made my husband go first so that, you know, there was no backing out once I got mine done. But, (laughs) well, yeah, and then so I get back there. I get all the way back to, like, the place. I sit in the chair, and what do you think happens? I fall asleep while the guy is doing the tattoo. And he was like, somebody came in to, like, check on us to see how we were doing or something I don't even remember I was just like in and out just like I'm gonna just sleep just hang out and sleep I remember hearing the guy go she's taking this like a champ like had I known you know that it was gonna be this easy like I'm almost done like five more minutes and I'm almost done had I known and basically what I took away was like had the guy known that I was like you know not gonna be screaming and crying or some nonsense He would have done it on my ribs. And I was like, you fucking asshole. Dude, I told you, like, I'll be fine. And even, like, whatever. Doesn't matter. The point is we both got our tattoos. And it's done. So, I'm still a little bit bitter about that. Just because of how it all went down. But, you know, like I said, I can... I can always move it or get it changed or something later if I decide to do that. Um, I have really grown to to like it. Um, I am not somebody, though, who will just – that was really the first tattoo where I was just like, I'll just get whatever. Like, that was really the first one that I did. Um, but all of the other tattoos that I have, I've put a lot of thought into as far as, like, I've definitely known the basic idea of what I want and why I want them. Um, They are like little souvenirs to me. They're like little pieces of my life that I can take with me. And, you know, as a reminder of, you know, the good times, but also the reminder of like, look at how far you've come. And also kind of just like, you know, we can do this. 
Um, so yeah, um, uh, I am thinking that I, I will not get another tattoo in Texas. I won't, I won't get another tattoo in Texas. Um, I want to stick to like, I would really like to get one from each state. Um, and then, you know, maybe even get one from, you know, all the countries that I want to visit or whatever. Um, so that would be fun. That's kind of how I want to do it. As like a souvenir, you know, as my own little personal souvenir of like an adventure that I had. Uh, the next tattoo that I really want to get, well, I actually have several that I want. Uh, another one that I want is it's kind of small and it's, again, it's perfectly symmetrical and it's essentially all the letters in, um, I'll post a picture of it on the Twitter, uh, but it's essentially like all the letters of the alphabet in one symbol, like in one picture. Uh, so I think I want to get that one on my ankle. Ooh, that's probably going to hurt, but it'll be okay. Um, another one that I want to get is I want to get a Beauty and the Beast tattoo under my boob. Under my left boob, over my heart, that says tale as old as time with a rose. I'll probably do the rose petals in color. Um, but again, it's going to be small and subtle. I'm not going to do... it's not The whole tattoo will not be in in color it will be black and white with just that little bit of color one that I really really want to get is on um like my forearm instead of you know like where people would get like a tribal tattoo on their forearm kind of like up near their shoulder um I want to get a I want to get two snakes uh two snakes intertwined with each other um, the eyes will probably, I want those to be like greens, like emeralds. Um, and then down, like leading down kind of like as a bracelet, I want in Arabic, I want the words, um, love, hope, peace, and I forget, I have it all written down, I forget what the other word, but I want them in Arabic, kind of like, like jewelry, I just love the way Ara Arabic is so beautiful, you guys, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, It and it's freaking art, is what it is, it's fucking art, it's beautiful, like, the way that it looks is just so, oh, it's so aesthetically pleasing, I love the way that it, just like the way that it, it's written is just so beautiful, um, but I want to get those words and then kind of like dangling off each word, sort of like in a jewelry adornment. I want um, like little jewels kind of. Uh, and I'll have the jewels in color. But it will be very subtle color. I don't, you know, the whole thing is not going to be, you know, color. I just want that like little little pieces of it. Uh, to be in color, very subtle. Um, my husband wants to get a scarab, the scarab beetle, um, on his back, um, and then he wants to get the eye of Ra on his old on his other shoulder, um, with the wings going into like the negative, like into the negative space. Um, I think that would be cool. Um, he likes that idea. I like that idea too. I think it'd be really cool. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of my personal relationship with tattoos. Um, yeah. So if you guys, uh, you know, you want to share your tattoo stories or, uh, you want to show, you know, send pictures or whatever, uh, you can, uh, do that through the email, which is manicpixieweirdo at protonmail.com. Uh, find us on Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, um, all the different places. We're on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at mpweirdopodcast. Um, check us out. 
on all the things. And hope y'all have a good one. Bye.